and welcome back to part one of my Arsenal career mode on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and if you do, don't forget to leave that like and also subscribe to my channel as well if you're new as well. Today we're doing a career mode with Arsenal, you know, a team that has been definitely recommended to me in the comments a few times and Arsenal, you know, they sacked their old manager, Arsene Wenger, who's, who's basically managed the club for more than 22 years and, you know, I want to take his reign. I want to take his uh, progeny and hopefully develop this squad and ultimately try and win the Champions League as well as the Premier League and try and develop the youngsters and the quality of this squad in general. So, you know, let's try and make this club a superpower. You know, win the Premier League titles, win the Champions League titles, retain the FA Cup. That'd be brilliant. They've won so many FA Cups, but back to back years. 2016-2017 FA Cup winners and I'd like to maintain that I'd like to win the FA Cup this year as well with Arsenal you know I'm going to try and uh, go into contract negotiations with Aaron Ramsey his contract is running out he's got like 12 months six months left on his contract and I'm offering him an important squad role five-year contract you know if you're new to my channel consider leaving a subscription that would be massively appreciated massively appreciated but he wants 115,000 pounds a week, which I'm happy to give him actually. But not that appearance bonus. That's massive. Um, I'll drop. I'll duck down his signing on bonus too. That'd be brilliant. If I can offer him a little bit more wage-wise, that'd be fantastic. But again, Ar Ramsey could be a player that I could try and let go if a right bid was to come in for him. Then I'd consider it. I'd be open to letting go. But he's. He's obviously, you know, Arsenal's key man in the midfield, alongside Mesut Ozil. Yep, let's just accept that. That's fine. £125,000 a week is going to be his own. I'm looking to make some good transfers, you know. If you, if you guys want any kind of player, right, just leave it in the comments. Just leave your feedback in the comments and I'll look at them. All the feedback. You know, whether it be a striker, goalkeeper, new goalkeeper. Because Pet Check is kind of going on a bit, isn't he? He's kind of getting on a bit. So, um, a new goalkeeper maybe in the first season. But I'm thinking a new wing back. Uh, sorry, a new winger. Because, you know, we're lacking a little bit of squad depth in that position. I could I could play Messi. I want to play Messi Ozil at Cam. Uh, obviously Alexis Sanchez has gone to Manchester United so you know we're having a look at our board objectives for the season they want to finish in the Champions League and win the Europa League as well so their board expectations are fairly high I can tell you that I'm gonna do some training especially train the youngsters of the squad um, let's train Alex Iwobi definitely he's gonna have a part to play in this squad so He'll definitely have a part to play, Alex Iwobi. Uh, I'm going to try and train his dribbling and his agility as well. That'd be fantastic. I'm going to try and train Iwobi as well. He's going to be, he's a very young talent actually. That's the reason why. I'm going to try and train his finishing so he can cut inside from that left hand side. He could be a very good midfielder for.
part to play off the bench. We've got our next second game against uh, Venezu. We've got a 4-2 victory against Sevilla. So there's a chance for us to get three points here. Get three points here and uh, we're basically through, so that's fantastic. We're 1-0 down. Uh, El Neni equalises. Okay, we get one all draw. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, nobody ever plays pre-season, so it's just... It's a chance to earn some extra money, you know. I'll make a res squad as well. A backup team throughout the season. They could literally step up for like the cup games and stuff. I mean, I'll put Maitland Niles in there as well. Urzil, uh, Iwobi, El, uh, Sam Willock as well. Mm, I'll put Montreal in the starting lineup. I mean, I need potentially a new left back as well. Because if Monreal leaves, then um, I'll have to pick someone up, definitely. I'm thinking a new right winger as well. Someone that's got pace and quality into the lineups.
we've got a pre-season final coming up. We're facing against Besiktas, the Turkish squad. We've got a very, very good team. So I'd like to get a win and try and um, earn the maximum amount of prize money as possible. That'd be awesome. I'd definitely appreciate that. We just place, we just faced Napoli uh, in the semi-finals, and we came up with a win. So that was actually brilliant. So the, you know, usually on my uh, career modes, I usually just sim the entire preseason tournament and just play the final. That's it. Mm, I'll show you guys the lineups. Nah. Um, they're starting Alvaro Negredo, Charisma Talisca, Ryan Babel, uh, Gary Medel as well. That's a decent side. Alvaro Negredo, obviously, a um, former Manchester City man. So. Teliska plays a passing towards Alvaro Negredo, who has a shot. It's, <laughs> it's a wild effort, that. That's a good chance for Besiktas here. Two minutes in. They've just missed the target though. I mean, Petrček is a decent goalkeeper. He's definitely, you know, played really well in his years, in his prime. But I think he's just a little bit out of his prime right now. You know, he's 33 years old right now. He's kind of getting on a bit. So a new young goalkeeper would be appreciated. So, you know, I'd massively appreciate if you guys could have an input on that and just leave any feedback, any comments of any good potential goalkeepers in the comment section. That'd be awesome. Because Petrček is kind of getting on a bit, isn't he, as you guys know? Even though he's, he's very experienced, I could have him off the bench if you guys want, but I've got David Ospina as well, so Ospina is quite good, the Colombian. But coming forward again, um, Taliska towards uh, the coming forward again. He's going to cross that in and he's going to score. Besiktas 1, Arsenal nil. 12 minutes in. And they've scored. A good crossing from the right hand side actually. It's a great incisive pass towards him. Perfectly weighted cross that was. Perfectly weighted. And <laughs> nobody was there to pick him up there. And Alvaro Negredo scores. 13 minutes in and it's Besiktas 1, Arsenal nil. We're coming forward in the attack. Kolasinac. Kolasinac towards Jack Wilshire. Um, Aaron Ramsey. Plays a decent passing towards Mesut Ozil. Oh, nice reverse ball towards the Bama Yang, but this gets cut out there. Alvaro Negreda. He's a very, very good player, man. Obviously, a Man City man, former Manchester City. But. You know, he's, he's got himself a really good career right now at Besiktas. A very decent club. Again, he forces a save from Petrček there. Pretty comfortable towards his right-hand side. Aaron Ramsey plays that in towards Jack Wilshire, Bamiyang. Towards Ozil. Ozil towards uh, Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan runs on the left-hand side and he's going to place a pass keeper into the back of the net. It's a nice finish, actually. It's one all. 25 minutes in and Mkhitaryan gets him behind the defence and it equalises for us. Besiktas 1, Arsenal 1. It's a clever run actually, it just gets him behind the defence. It's a good way to pass as well. He just takes a good first touch and that is a tidy finish into the back of the net. It's a fantastic finish from Besiktas there. Really, really good finish. It's a good weighted pass, and Alvaro, look who it is, Alvaro Negredo. Of all players, Alvaro Negredo scores past me, and it's 2 1 to Besiktas now. He's particularly disappointed. It's a decent weighted pass towards him, places it past the keeper. I mean, I wouldn't, pace, I wouldn't blame Petrček for that, but he could have did a bit better. He just side foot at home into the back of the net. We're going to make a couple of changes. Alvaro Negredo has played really well in this match so far. It could be a player could try and target, but... Charisma. Charisma is another talented winger. Quality. 
You know, he's probably like 33, 34, but he's quality. He's very, he's very established. Alvaro Negredo, he's going to play that across towards him. It's a tame effort. It's a tame shot. Straight into the gloves of uh, Petrček there. Charisma coming on the left hand side. Charisma plays that into uh, Ryan Babel. Good cross that was and the score. It's a great delivery. Besiktas 3, Arsenal 1. And I think that's game over for us right now. Ryan Babel scores past me. Look at this decent delivery from Charisma there. Decent delivery. Didn't get picked up at all. 3 1. I think that's game over, man. We're not going to get the maximum amount of prize money from this. Ryan Babel scores for Besiktas. Kolasinac. Can we get a goal back? Jack Wilshire. Jack Wilshire plays that in towards Granite Xhaka. Bellerin. Bellerin towards Lacazette. Plays that in towards Wilshire who misses the target. Though. That was a good chance for Jack Wilshire there. The bring on Jamel Lons, the former Sunderland man, of course, for Ricardo Caresma. If you guys want to me to target Ricardo Caresma, you know, just uh, leave it in the comments, man. Because I've, I've used him in a previous career mode, an offline career mode save, and uh, it was brilliant. He's a very good, you know, established midfielder, I should say. Lacazette. Like is it? Oh, I get tackled though. Hutchinson. Hutchinson plays that, plays that through towards Taliska. Taliska and he scores. That's a great incisive pass towards him. It's a great through ball. And he tucks that home away fairly confidently. We're just going to change the slider slightly, slightly because the thing is here, the CPUs are shooting with every single shot at goal. And it's particularly disappointing, so I'll just up the sliders slightly. But it's a fantastic finish from the man there, Taliska. He hits the bar and he goes in. Clever run that was. Really, really clever run to get in behind on defence. Good incisive pass. They've been cutting me through open with their one two intricate passing play. And Taliska just plays places that pass the keeper into the back of the net look at that for a finish hits the post and comes back into play that's 4-1 that's definitely game over Grant Xhaka towards Lacazette, Mkhitaryan gets him behind the defence and he scores, it's 4-2. It's, 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 it's definitely something to take us with them. Mkhitaryan gets him behind the defence and he places that past the keeper. At least, it, at least it gets us something from the game, right? It's 4-2, it looks more respectable, the goal line. And Besiktas full-time goals, and it's Besiktas for Arsenal to... Disappointed to lose the final, but... They're going to lift the trophy now. I'm disappointed, but if you guys have enjoyed this episode, you know, feel free to leave a like, and also subscribe to my channel as well. Yeah. I, I really appreciate all the feedback, all the likes, you know, all the comments, everything you guys leave for me. If you guys enjoyed this first episode, you know, hit that like button, you know, destroy it completely if you guys like. But they're going to lift the trophy now, Besiktas. Up next we've got the Community Shield final.